What's up, YouTube? How you doing? It is time to play some more Factorio 1.0. Finally, we are released. We are at the 1.0. We just finished setting up our science. And I think that is fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. All the phone? Okay. 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 Let's do this. Okay. So our next step would be to kind of um, sort of scale up our operation, right? We need to start producing some more stuff automatically. Which basically, like, what do I, I need to, like, make inserters automatically. And for that, we're going to need electronic circuits as well as uh, iron plates and iron gear wheels. And I don't know if we can actually do it with the sort of bog standard assemblers. Let's get some optics, let's get some lights going, we can get some concrete, some stones, some stuff like that. Hold on, let me check out, let me check out this. Not enough ingredients, how dare you, sir? Thou art quite the swine to implicate me in such a gross manner. acting all weird right anyway so let's let's set this up let me just see what we can make with the assembler that we have available to us so we can um, we can actually make inserters right because this assembler works with uh, at most three ingredients which is cool um, so we could build inserters long-handed inserters and all that good stuff Okay, so if we were to do that, oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe the better option would be to set up an automated production of underground belts as well as, uh, let's get some stone walls. Okay. As well as, so, um, underground belts as well as splitters. We should set those, that up automatically, but for that, we're going to need electronic circuits. I think we need to automate production of electronic circuits. I think that is what we need to do first and foremost. Okay. So our next sort of production array is going to be one big batch of, of electronic circuits, which let me tell you, it's not going to be easy. We're going to need iron plates and copper cables. And we're going to need three copper cables for each iron plate. And the copper cable is made. We get two copper cables. Okay, 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 okay. So if I do... If I do... So theoretically, I could... Eh, all the ratio is all messed up. I don't know, man. I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> then why are you playing this game? Because it's fun. <laughs> anyway. Yes, imaginary straw man who's arguing with me on the internet. I, sh I sure showed you. I'm thinking... I want to set this up and I'm not sure at, at all like I'm so not sure it's not even funny okay so basically I want to feed one assembler one assembler of copper uh, of electronic circuits with one assembler of copper cables that way I hope that everything will be sort of fed in automatically and properly um Another thing is that I need to get iron plates to these machines in a pretty quick manner. So they're going to come in here and I'm going to gather from up there. And then finally I'm going to sort of uh, splitter, like load balance it for it. I think I'll still do this already more in November. 
I think I'd do it on stream. I don't know. I don't know if that would be cool to watch. No, there are a lot of things I want to do on stream. And hopefully I'll now be able to in a much more reliable manner. Camera, stop flipping out on me. Stop flipping out on me, camera. Anyway. So. Um, I think I'm going to do like the load balancing. I don't know. Somewhere around here? And you do that. And you do this. Okay. And let's get... Let's, let's uh, split off... For the love of Pete's sake. I seriously need to automate this this production of, 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 of iron. Because it's annoying as all heck. Uh, of, of splitters. I'm sorry, not of iron. I already, I already automated iron. So this is going to come in here, right? And I'm going to pick up from over here. And then I'm going to put out over there, or output, if you will. I don't put out on the first date. And I need a ton of more iron as well as get some more copper up in here so that we can make more so that we can make more assembling machines. We're gonna need quite a few of those. We're gonna need more inserters, just more stuff. Okay, so anyway, I was saying that I'm going to output over here and our copper, wait, so for this we need, okay. And our copper is gonna come in over here. We need yet another splitter. Do this, okay. You are going to come in here, you're going to come in there. Okay, so I'm gonna feed the copper over here into those, um, into these machines that are going to make copper cables. And you are going to continue to sort of set up over here. Okay, hopefully this will be enough electronic circuits, at least for now. We'll see if it actually is enough in the long run. I am expecting it not to be, to be honest. That's going to be fine. Okay. So. What else? Me. Mike. How about you sit over there? How about I sit more towards the mic? There's an idea. I'm just the best pro streamer. Hey, oh, whoa, oh. wait, we can customize our character, our character, hold the phone. It is time to go cyberpunk on this character. There you go, buddy, there you go, there you go. Oh, yes, oh, yes, almost, I need less, less of this, maybe more of that. I don't know. I don't know how to do colors. I don't know how to do visuals. This is not my job. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna build that over there. But Horseradish, like, if they don't, like, if they don't announce the theme until November. How are you going to do Nano Rimo in September? My brain stopped. <laughs> okay, crafting. And let's set up some more long handed inserters over here. I'm going to put you over there. I'm going to put you over there, over there, and over there. Um, and I'm going to need like a ton, a metric crap ton of inserters. Jeebus. Okay, so, hmm, inserters, 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 yummy, tasty inserters for the inserter god. Okay, 
So you pick up there, and I'm just gonna paste these recipes over there. Uh, my eye, my eye, what you doing, my eye? They have a theme, but you don't have to do it. You can do anything. Oh, really? No, no, I messed it up. No, no. There you go. Oh, alrighty then. You can just submit anything, like no matter what. Like no matter what. Boop, boop, and boop. There you go, buddy. Okay, now I'm gonna need. Oh my God, dude, where, dude, like, wh where is the? Yes, we've got some crude oil in there. Um, our iron is still holding, but where do we have some blinking trees? Oh my word! I guess we're just gonna scavenge these, uh, these bits over here. Oh, they finished stone walls. Uh, let's do weapon shooting speed and weapon shooting damage for now, just so that in case we meet any baddies, we can uh, do quite a bit of damage on them. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There you go. Okay. Now, how do I want to set this up? There's going to be three poles. Can I do it with less than that? Just two rows? Maybe, maybe, there you go, buddy, uh, oh, there you go, and now we should be producing electronic circuits, oh, I don't have, I don't have like an output for this one, there you go, ah, yes, okay, what's holding it back? What's holding these machines back from producing more, actually? It's the copper cables, is it? Is it? Wait, am I not? I wasn't looking at it properly, was I? There you go. So it's the copper cables? Is this what's taking so long? Is this not powered? Inserter is full. Do I need like double inserters over here for this to work? I think so. Okay, this should be working much better now. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough, horseradish. I think I'll I, I think I'll still do it in November and kind of wait for the theme, but I need like a starting point. I I haven't like written, I haven't done any creative writing in a long time, and I think it'd be much better to have a theme to start from. Um, So we're finally getting some electronic circuits up, which I think is super fine and dandy. I'm gonna move these down into the bus, right? Oh, I did not account for, oh crap, okay. I'm gonna do some, some SpaghettiOs things in there once we have the full bus going. That's gonna be fine. Okay, and we're gonna move these electronic circuits into the main bus. Uh, thus, do this, do that. No, 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 not you, not not you either. Oh, 
There you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. Okay. So we've moved these into the bus, right? Into the, into the sort of main bus thing going on over here. Now, another thing we're going to need a assembly machine for is, um, so I want to build underground belts and splitters kind of automatically without wasting my time that much. So yeah, we just need to kind of split off of the main belt, the, actually, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? Some sort of improvisation thing over here. Yeah, yeah let's do it properly. Screw it. Okay, so over here, we're gonna have like one machine that's doing the underground belts, right? So we're gonna need belts and plates for that. We're gonna have like another machine over here kind of doing the uh, splitters. And we're gonna need electronic circuits as well as belts and iron plates for that. Now, uh, let me do it properly. And in order to do that, I guess we're gonna just gonna combine the belts with the uh, iron plates on one belt. And that way, so like so as well as so hey 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 like to like to move surface next month things should start waking up for another new moon then oh nice nice then i could uh, get ready then i don't know and if i do it like if i do nanorimo i think i'll stream it like i don't know I, for me it would be cool to kind of see people right so i'll do it i plan to do a not silent hill story <laughs> definitely not a silent hill story here what silent hill story there are no silent hill stories over here what this isn't fog it's smoke from what uh from a smoke machine why is there a smoke machine? I think you should stop asking so many questions. And just have fun. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Okay. No, not the electronic circuits. Blast. Drat. Foiled again. No. No, not you. Okay. I need the transport belts over here. Yes, indeedy. And you still need to be split, but I need you to go more like down over here. And you can feed that, you can feed that, you can feed that, and these two will go into some chests. H.P. Lovecraft as a character. Oh, that's always fun. I think that I think that's a cool story. I'm already, like, my gears are already turning. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see what happens. I am curious. Uh, okay, so we've got four chests over here. Okay, and now. Theoretically. We're gonna need two more inserters because these two need like a lot of resources from over here. Like a lot. Yeah, it's like ten iron plates, five transport belts over here, and five iron plates, five electronic circuits, uh, four transport belts. In order to kind of speed that along, I'm gonna make this Oh, I uh, deleted this. Never mind. No, it's not deleted. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I just want to get the theme and start from there and just see how crazy I can make it. Most likely, I will write it in, in the semi-humorous... I'm going to try to do a semi-humorous attempt to try to, like, write in the style of Douglas Adams, who's, like, my favorite... Just my favorite science fiction author, period, really. When I think about it, like, I've read The Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy so many times. But that first story, I, I just love it. I love it to bits. 
Okay, so why are you not like producing quicker? Just because this is not sort of giving you enough quick enough? Eh. It should do for now. Okay, so our bus is moving along here. Um, but something is up. Like weapon shooting speed is like a hundred science. Maybe we could get like a couple more uh, labs going. Okay, and then we kind of need to automate inserters. Yeah, I know, I know horse radish, um, but I haven't watched a lot of classic Who yet. But I understand that his tenure um, as script editor for uh, for um, Doctor Who was excellent. So I really need to get into the classic stuff. But yeah, you know that coming from like a more um, modern perspective it's kind of hard because of the production value i mean there is production value but it's uh it's kind of hard to get into it um but i would like to, to to check out some classic who stories as well yes yes i know i know i know tom baker everybody's favorite everybody's favorite did i mention like who my favorite doctors are so far like number one is eccleston Number two is Capaldi. Number three is uh, Tennant. Number four, Matt Smith. But it's like, I love all four of them so much. It's not even funny. Um, it's really like the differences are minimal between them. But that would be my ranking if, if you were to ask me. Um, we should set up some radars. And some turrets. Let's just set up one radar so that we can sort of explore. Oh yes, I know horse riders. Uh, there's some big Finnish stuff. Somehow they they managed to they managed to get him back in, and that's fantastic, fantastic that they that they managed to do it. I can't wait. I need to get into the big finish stuff as well. I haven't gotten into those stories, but I'm like, since we, we watched all of the new Who stuff, like we're, we're up to date. I've kind of, I've, I've, I'm kind of roaring to kind of get into some big finish stuff as well. I, I've, I, I'm lying. I have listened to like, I think the first story on Spotify. I love that they put in the, their, their, their first 50 stories up on Spotify. That's where I've kind of been uh, listening. Want to like listen to all of them in succession. Even the, like the ones with the classic doctors. Because uh, I quite enjoy audio dramas actually. And they're really cool to pop in when, uh, uh, like when you're playing something chill like Factorio. Or when you're... Um, or, uh, I don't know, Civ, or some Minecraft, or whatever. Mm, game Dev Tycoon. Like, that, like, there's one game, by the way, that I, I, I would like people to check out more. And that's Game Dev Studio. Like, check it out more. Support the dev. It's an awesome game, by the way. It's like a, a, a game company tycoon. But it's... It offers quite a bit of customization and detailing when it comes to making your games, and I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, so, um, I should have popped this iron and this coal into the furnaces. Never mind. Hold up. Let me, let me do that. Some housekeeping time. Well, I think so. The next step would be to make inserters, right? Iron plates, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits. And I would think it would be time to kind of expand our smelting operation over here and add in a second belt of iron plates because that that stuff's gonna... Like, we're gonna need a lot of iron, guys. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? You get... Get in. Get in. 
Okay. I could pop in this extra coal because I'm not really using it anyway. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Okay. Now, let's sort of expand our smelting operation. Actually, we can sort of feed off that same coal belt, really. There's no need to expand with, like, another one, I would say. Okay. Um, the iron is going to come on this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think it's amazing that they, that they, like, what they managed to do, like, they got the real act, the, like, the main actors they've got like this whole operation going the then in the end they kind of supported doctor who when doctor who was was kind of off the air and stuff like that i think that's awesome really it's made by some fans as well it's it's yeah yeah i heard about that too yeah i was kind of bummed that they didn't do mo more with jenny like that like the, the doctor's daughter was such a... I thought it was going to be, like, such a big moment when I saw it, like, the first time. And I was like, okay, holy crap, okay. Why? And, I, and all through that episode, like, I was wondering, why aren't people, like, treating this... Uh, yeah, exactly, horseradish. And, like, all throughout that episode, I was kind of wondering, like, why aren't people treating this, like, as, as, as the big event that it is, really? Why aren't the characters sort of reacting more or to 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 the fact that the doctor now has a daughter um and then the way the episode ended i kind of i i kind of realized what what happened yeah and i was like oh i see i see it's gonna be like that eh Yeah, yeah, exactly. So much potential. Like, it, it's a shame. It's a shame, really. But at the same time, you kind of understand why that was the case. Because, like, I mean, you could have done, like, at least a couple episodes with her as a companion. I think that would have been warranted. Um, at least. But at the same time, like, you kind of need the doctor to not have a family in order to keep him sort of, or her, uh, to keep the doctor <laughs> sort of mysterious and sort of un unhampered. Like, I think the doctor works best whenever, he, whenever the doctor f like doesn't have a family, a home to go to, like, there, as a wanderer, really. Yeah, exactly. Susan? Susan doesn't count. Like, that's so... Like... How? I, I, I... Like... Like, Susan doesn't count so hard that New Who does not reference her in any way. Like, aside from a couple of flashbacks where she appears because canonically she's been there, I don't remember any reference in the new series to Susan. And I think that's warranted. Like I think that that Susan being her grand like being the doctor's granddaughter in the original series was just a product of the times just and just so that people wouldn't think that something weird is happening. Like why is the doctor traveling with like an underage girl, right? No, it's not what you're thinking. They're family. They're related. She's her. She's his granddaughter. It's fine. Don't go there, you perv. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But anyway. Um. Okay. So you are going to output on the extremities. Yes. Output on the extremities. Input on the. 
interior. So uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't count Susan. And I know that, like, and I know I'm allowed to say that because, like, I, I think every Doctor Who fan has their sort of, sort of own internal canon. Yeah, like. Some things they consider to be canon, some things they don't consider to be canon. Like for me, for example, the Timeless Children, I don't consider it canon. I'm sorry. No. I'm in that boat. Like... Uh, I'm not gonna rant about it. There are a lot of people on the internet who have done that already. But for me, like, I don't count it like in my sort of internal canon, right? I think that Big Finish, a lot of their stuff, I would consider canon internally for me, but I don't personally consider like, uh, yeah, the Timeless Children, yeah, yeah. The, the, last, the last episodes uh, with, uh, with, with Jody, like those, um, did you not see the last season? Horseradish? 